Good morning. Praise God. All right. Now the children may be dismissed right now. Um, the young ones can go on back here. We have a service for you back there. And uh, I believe Granny will be handling that. Is that right? All right. There she is. Just follow all the kids. Follow her. She's got something good for you today. Praise God. How's everyone today? Bless. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Amen. Amen. God is good all the time. And uh, at this point of the uh, services, we're going to pick up with the prayer request. We have a couple of requests that you guys have filled out this morning, and we're going to share that with you. It's always good to cast our care upon God, no matter what the circumstances is. Uh, I'm going to start with the request here. Um, please pray for my neighbor, Sister Doreen, who's been very sick and will be having surgery. So we're going to pray for the uh, neighbor's daughter, Doreen. Um, we also want to pray for... I'm asking for prayer for peace in my home um, and everyone else in Jesus' name. Amen. And also pray for Kathy, Reba, and Reba Burn, Bernie. Healing in Jesus' name. Do we have a couple of healing requests this morning as well? Let's also pray for my auntie, for she's in the hospital with fluid around her heart. Okay, so we're going to pray someone also for healing for the heart situation. All right, let's also uh, pray for uh, my sister Jeanette family as they uh, deal with the loss of their husband's sister Joyce. So someone whose uh, husband's sister had passed away by the name of Joyce. They want to bring them up before the Lord. Um, let's also pray for my children that they would return to God in Jesus' name, and we will all be obedient to God in Jesus' name. So praying for a family to be brought back to walking with the Lord once again. All right, let's also pray for Marvin. So he has severe pain in his right elbow, and for him to continue his walk in Jesus' name. Again, a prayer request for Marvin with pain in his right elbow, and also to continue following and walking with God. Let's also please continue to pray for uh, for me, uh, Daisy, Matt, and Bernie to get a new house in Jesus' name. So we're also praying for a house, and uh, we also Daisy and I are also praying for a house too. So we're also joining you in the prayer for that as well, because we got all things are possible. And let's pray for Tris, who is uh, homesick with a stomach issue, um, who. And also that the Lord will will remove the spirit of depression from her and give her joy. So let's pray for Tris, who uh, had the stomach problem and she's feeling depressed. And let's give her the spirit of joy. So we have a couple of requests this morning that we are uh, certainly going to be put before the Lord. And what I think I'm going to do is that uh, while well, we have our prayer group, and uh, again, I'm going to ask if you would pray in two, in groups of two. And I know I've mentioned that a couple of times, and I think I need to emphasize that a little bit because um, not that we don't want people to pray in five and six, but um, we want you to try to group in two. If for some reason two, uh, you can't find someone, well then join in, let it be by the most of three. And if you can do that, I would uh, greatly appreciate that. We certainly want to be able to be a part of the prayer group but let's keep it at two, at the most, at three, so that we can move the service along because um, it's been taking some time. And so while we just, we want to continue to pray, we don't want to stop that. If you have your Bible, please turn to Colossians one twenty six. As I was waiting on the Lord this morning, I was just trying to get the mind of God as to uh, the message to bring. And I felt led to share the scripture. And this is Colossians chapter 1, verse, starting at verse 26. And if you have the Bible, please turn to Colossians chapter 1, verse 26. We'll read it starting at verse 26 to verse 29. Even the mystery which had been hid from ages and from generation, but is now made manifest to the saints in whom God would make known what is the wishes of the glory of this mystery among the Gentile, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory, whom we preach, warning every man, and teaching every man in all wisdom, 
that we may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus. Wherefore I also labor, striving according to his working, which worketh in me mightily. Now in verse 20 it says the mystery. There's the, the mystery of God. The mystery of God. There's so many people that are ignorant about the mystery of God. There's so many people ignorant about the ways of God. They don't know about God. They don't know about His ways. They don't know about His purpose for their life. They're, they're basically law wandering around. You can see people in bondage. Just past week, I was telling days, as I went out, I believe it was Monday morning, taking care of some errands, and in a short period, like in 15 minutes, I saw like seven or eight homeless people living, sleeping on the street, pushing cars, and the hope of despair and having no hope. And I came back and heard days, this is awful. There's so many people that are lost. You can see in their faith. They have no purpose, no direction. They're, they're ignorant about the things of God. And it's really sad. And this is a mystery. There are kept, there's a lot of people who don't know about the things of God. And we as Christians have the opportunity to share. And the whole purpose of our life is to be able to share wherever we go, wherever we encounter the hope. Christ in us is the hope of glory. We instill hope in people. We instill hope wherever we go. I'm always looking for opportunity to put, plant the seed of hope in people. Sometimes people don't want to receive it. But you know, I always share. Whenever God opens the door, we always share. And it's wonderful to be able to do that. That is the whole purpose and the calling in your life. It's to be fruitful. It's to bless others to continue to point them to Jesus. And you know, if you read in verse, uh, in verse 29, sorry, verse 28, In whom we preach, warning every man and teaching every man all wisdom, that we may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus. We as Christians are always sharing, looking for opportunity. As Paul said, sometimes we have to warn people. We have to let people know what's right and wrong. Never be afraid to tell people the truth, even if it's not popular. Because God will always use you. If you speak the truth and you speak it in love, you're going to have an impact on people. They may not always receive it right then, but you're planting the seed in them. You're planting the seed. And you become a good representation of the kingdom of God. You be strong in the things of God. You be strong in the ways of God. And God would use you in your workplace. You may have to warn someone. You may have to encourage someone. You may have to be there to pray for someone. Sometimes just a simple prayer for somebody means more to that person than preaching to them. But you've got to have discernment of the Holy Spirit. If God sent you to some place and God said, pray for this person, and you make yourself available, God's going to use you. I can't tell you how many times I've been in a situation and the Holy Spirit said, pray for that person. And I said, excuse me, sir, um, I don't know, but I just feel like praying for you. Can I pray for you? And people are open to go, yes, you can. And I have seen people break down and cry. It doesn't happen all the time. But God does something when we obey Him. And that's what we want to do. We want to be there for people. We see so many people, and you're going to see a lot of people that are lost. They don't know the things of God. And we can make a difference, each of us. And our own sphere of influence can make a difference. And that's what it's all about. It's making an impact in your area of influence. Touching someone's life, being there for them, lifting them up and bringing them closer to Jesus. You may be the only person that can share the word to them. Maybe nobody else, but you can make a difference in that person. And when you do, God's going to use you. That's what we want to see. And it's wonderful because we are going to be a blessing to people. It's all about being blessing people, continue strengthening people in the things of God. So many people know ignorance in the things of God. We can make a difference and let us be obedient to God. Let us be faithful to God. Let us be fruitful in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I thank you this morning for the word, the word of a hope and encouragement. Each of us can have an impact in our area of influence, reaching out, being sensitive to the Holy Spirit. Lord, use us. Use each of us, Lord. There are many people around us that are hurting, looking for answers, looking for direction and purpose in life. The Christ in us is the hope of glory that we can instill, that we can plant the seed of hope in people. 
that we can point people to Jesus, that we can lift people before you to hurt the people that are downtrodden and bring them into the kingdom of God in Jesus' name. Father, guide us, each of us, guide us, equip us, prepare each of us, Father, for the service for the kingdom of God. It's to build the kingdom of God. It's to populate the kingdom of God with men and women who have come to the truth, and the truth will set them free. We thank you and praise you. We make ourselves available to you, Father. We surrender to you completely our whole life, our talent, our ability, everything we are and is, Lord, that you will be glorified in our life, that everything we do will bring glory and honor to you. Lord, direct our step and anticipation, even this week, that each of us can have an opportunity to share your word to someone that you were sent to us this week and open their heart to be sensitive to you and lead us, Lord, what to do, whether we should preach to someone, whether we should warn, or whether we should simply ask for them from prayer. Help us to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit, and we thank you for it, and we give you all the praise in Jesus' name. And everybody say, Amen. All right, right now, I'd like all of us to stand again, take one other person and pray. I'm going to go around and hand out these requests to each group right now. So if you wait a second, I'm going to give it to you, and then you'll pray along with that group as well, the request.